Well, hello, stamping friends. How is everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Um, I feel a little bit better because my craft room finally got the baseboards in and painted and my room is painted. I kept my blue wall and I'll show you the pictures when I'm done, but I didn't really do anything different cabinet wise or you know layout wise of the room, but we just needed it painted, the ceilings, walls, and then all new baseboards. So that's why it's been just a real big mess here and um oh i wish i could show you a video but i tried it and i can't flip the calen um, camera around so we'll just do like we always do and um, i'm going to share a project with you but first i want to tell you about the sale that's going on today that Miriam bright online extravaganza it starts today and ends tonight um you only have 24 hours to order and everything except a few items that are listed on here are on sale. I know this looks like it's kind of a long list, but some things are, you know, like repeated, the prepaid paper pumpkin, all different quantities of that for um, length of times. And, you know, like Van Whisper White and Berry Vanilla, these are kind of repeats, but it's different kinds of cardstock. So some of the basics aren't on sale, but there's so much that is on sale. So it's really worth your time to go through and pick out what you'd like. And if your order is under 150, please, please use the host code. That helps me out a lot. And um, if it's over 150, then you reap the benefits and just pick out your free items. Better yet, if you sign up to be a demonstrator and be on my team tomorrow, you can choose um, the starter kit items at a discount. You'll get 10% off anything that is on sale as well. So you get even more bang for your buck. You can choose $125 worth of products and you only pay $99 plus free shipping and remember when you're picking out your items to equal the 125 you will um, get 10% off of those items that are on sale so it's actually even more than 125 all right so today I have um, one of my favorite stamp sets and I chose something not out of the cat holiday catalog because nothing in there is on sale that is excluded so I'm going to show you something from the annual catalog that if you don't have this yet, I really highly recommend that you purchase it because it's such a fun set. It's Connie Stewart's million dollar stamp set that she designed or helped design and it's called Nothing's Better Than and you know why I love it. I love my coffee and my cookies. I'm not a drinker but I love chocolate so three out of four isn't bad but I still made some cards because not everyone's like me and um so anyway, we are going to make a card using this stamp set. So um, the ideas for this stamp set actually come pretty easy for me because I love working with it. So um, for starters, we are going to cut out our, the base of our card, which is eight and a half by five and a half. And I scored on the long side at four and a quarter. And um, <laughs> if I forgot anything, um, I'm really sorry because I only have the basics here. So I will soon find out if I forgot anything. So we're just gonna fold that in half and set that aside. And the next piece is going to be crumb cake. And let me grab my ruler because I can't remember. I think it's the second largest size, but I will measure it just to make sure. It's not quite four inches by not quite or a little over five inches. So four by five is close enough. And you can see that I embossed it. Maybe you can't, but it's with the Subtles embossing folder. And then I'm just going to take adhesive and place that on the front of my card for the first layer. And that's kind of a chocolate look to it. Can you tell that's which die I'm going to use? All right, now the next part, we are going to build a cute, cute little chocolate box. So we need a piece of early, oh, I forgot to tell you, this is early espresso, by the way. We need early espresso, and this piece is, <laughs> I'm going to show you how I, how I come up with these patterns at the end. I'll show you my scrap piece. Um, this is uh, three and a half by three inches, and then we're going to take the long side and, and um, put that at the top of your scoring tool. And the first score line, whoops, let me flip it around, is one fourth inch. I'm not sure if you can see it here. I did one fourth inch, 
and then I did one and three fourths inch, and then I did two inches. And again, this is on the three and a half inch side, this is three inches. So that's where the score lines are going to go. Then you can go ahead and um, fold on all three of those lines. And there's our chocolate box for starters. All right, now let's start with the top of the box. So I Googled chocolate boxes and I saw a lot put gold with it. So this is a gold foil sheet and this is gonna be two and seven eighths inches by one and three eighths inch. It's just a tiny bit smaller than the top and get my adhesive this is so weird without anything being in the right place I have misplaced my glasses so I'm really bummed I looked for probably 15 minutes in this pigsty here and I could not find them so we are gonna wing it all right there's the first layer of the chocolate box now the next layer we're gonna put early espresso on again. We're gonna do a little bit of tone on tone and this one's gonna be another eighth of an inch smaller. So that brings us to th two and three fourths by one and a quarter. And let's just put adhesive on the back of that and we will place that right smack in the center of that. All right, now to make it a little more chocolatey, let's just put the word chocolate on. Let's call it what it is. So. I'm going to put just a little bit of liquid adhesive. If you have the adhesive sheets, that works well. Um, but if you use liquid glue, don't put very much on, just a tiny bit will do. And we're just gonna put that right smack in the middle so people know what's inside. Don't worry about if it's a little bit over because it dries clear. All right, now let's do some stamping on this. So see how it's taken? Kind of taken shape it's going to be a 3d on the front but it is mailable because it will lie flat and i'll show you that once we have it all together now for the inside we are going to take a piece of whisper white cardstock and this one oh guys you're not going to like the dimensions on this but what i did was i measured this piece and i took it down like 1 16th of a an inch from the from that measurement so this is actually um it's almost three by almost one and a half. So if you take it just one notch down, like, you know, it goes by not even one eighth, by, but by one sixteenth. So it's just like one sixteenth less than three and one sixteenth less than one and a half. That's easier than saying, well, this one is two and 15 sixteenths is what it actually is. And this one is one and seven sixteenths. So I like just to say, go just one notch smaller than three by one and a half. Okay, now let's get this chocolate stamp and we are gonna use early espresso for the ink. And we're gonna stamp close to the bottom and close to the left side for the first one. And the next one is going to be right next to it because we want a box full of chocolates. And then the next one, we're just going to center on the top so that they all fit in this box. And then I'll show you how we're gonna fill this space um, in just a second because I do have a done one so that you don't have to watch me color all of them. But let me show you which blends I use to color. All right, I use the bronze. There's not a light and dark with that, just bronze. And then I use light crumb cake. And then I used light and dark soft suede. So what I did was I just kind of alternately colored these in with the blends. And then this is what it's gonna look like when you're done. No rhyme or reason, just mix them up, you know. And then what I did was I took that same whoopsie the same stamp and i'm just going to show you what i did for those extra ones but i need a piece of scrap paper um so see this i didn't even measure that just take a scrap and take your ink and your stamp and all you want to do is aim for that middle one because the middle one is the one that is a full stamp the others well i guess that one is too but we're just going to use the the middle one so like that and like that and then what you'll do is you'll color in just the middle one there and then you'll fussy cut that one out and that one out 
So that's how we're gonna get the extra chocolates to fill in the gap here. So let me grab mine and uh, let's see, I have one more cut out here, a light and a dark. And then again, we will take the um, Tombow glue and put a little bit on the back. I'm not gonna pop any of these up because once they're in the box, you don't you usually don't see popped up ones. At our In our family, all you see is squished ones so that people can see if it's caramel or coconut inside because you know how not everybody likes every one. So they're poking their fingers in or smushing them to get the ones that they like. Now they put them on the bottom of the box now. They make like a little map for you <laughs> so you can tell what they are. All right, now that we're done with the insides of our chocolate box, we're just gonna put some adhesive and we are gonna stick that and it should fit almost perfect. The reason we didn't do it the exact same size is if you do it the exact same size, this is not gonna fold down nicely. It's gonna be too tight of a fit. So there's the inside of the box. Now we can grab our card again and we're gonna place this on first. So um, I'm just gonna use liquid glue again because sometimes when you have a groove here, the sna snail won't hold as well because it's not smooth. So sometimes I think liquid is better for things like this. All right, so now I'm just gonna place that at an angle, press it down, it won't take very long to dry and you can kind of play with that so it sits, but see how it's 3D like that? The, the top will kind of flip up so they'll know something's in there. That's what it looks like at an angle, but when you mail it, you can fold that up or down or fold it this way. Just fold it like that and they'll get the idea when they get it, when they receive it, that it's a 3D thing. Now, it has a little bit of empty space up here, so I didn't want something a little bit too drastic, so, I cut out Love You More Than, and um, first I tried it with Early Espresso, and it kind of took away from the chocolate bar. So I am doing tone on tone here, and wait till you see it. You can still read it, even though they're both crumb cake, but because this one is not embossed, um, you'll be able to see it. So let's just go hmm, about right here, love, and then you, and uh, sorry, this part's taking a little bit longer, but I just wanted to show you how there, you really don't have to be a perfectionist. It's kind of whimsical. This die set that goes with it, it's, it's called Love You More Than. You can buy them separately, but if you bundle them together, you'll save 10%. But remember, they're on sale to, or, um, Tuesday today, so they'll be actually like they're 20% off. So it's a good deal. That's why I chose this. So Love You. Let's move this one over a little bit more. And the last one. Then, and the Love You More Than is actually one die, but when they come out of the die, they will all be separate words. So if you wanted to do one in a different color or you only wanted some, you know, you might want to just use the word love for something. So love you more then. And now you can see that it's a little bit different, but it's very subtle. So, but if you prefer the sharp contrast, use a different color if you'd like, if you'd like um, early espresso, but I, I'm a tone on tone girl. So that's what um, you can do for that. And then I used, I made one of these already. I already sent it though, and I did it as a birthday card. So I put, um, I just did Whisper White on the inside, like on a five and a quarter by four. And then I just grabbed a, a birthday stamp set that I already have. It took up most of the spot. And then I put a little, another little chocolate here and colored them on the bottom. And then you might want to stamp this along your um, envelope to make it coordinate. But there's my fun little chocolate bar. This might be fun for Valentine's Day too. I know, crazy that we're thinking about Valentine's, but that's how Stampin' Up! demonstrators are. We're always like retailing way ahead of the game. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that little project. And um, don't forget that sale ends today for the 10% off the Merry and Bright Online Extravaganza. We will see you on Friday morning again. And thanks and have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Bye-bye, everyone.